To continue, let me just recall the first set of differentiation formulas. So let me write everything again so that you'll remember them. Okay, let's continue with the numbering from the pre previous uh, video. We're now in, in example number 7. Let's say f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, getting the derivative of the function f, we can just get the derivative of each of the three terms. Okay, in terms of x, so denoted by f prime of x. In the first term, so uh, in the previous video, said if you have a product of a constant and a function, okay, of x in this case, you can just set aside the constant and just take the derivative of the power of x in this case. So it's in the first term, it's just 4. Set aside the constant and take the derivative of x squared with respect to x using the power rule. So in the power rule, we bring down the exponent, copy the base. Subtracting 1 from the exponent, you get 2 minus 1. You'll get just 1. In the second term, you have again a uh, product of a constant and the power of x. So the constant, we just copy, which is minus 2 or negative 2. Set aside the constant and take the derivative of x with respect to x. Now, in the previous video, I've already um, discussed that the derivative of any, any variable with respect to itself is equal to 1. So the derivative of x with respect to itself is 1. That's the derivative of a constant according to d1 is 0. And so f prime of x is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8 x raised to 1, so we don't have to write 1 anymore as the exponent of x, minus 2. This is the derivative of f of x. Okay, let's do that again. In number 8, the function g of x, let's have 10 times x to the 7th, minus uh, 5x to the 5th, let's say minus 2x cubed plus x plus 3. Okay, so what is the derivative of g of x? Derivative of g of x denoted by g prime of x is equal to, so let's just take the derivative of each of the five terms that we have with respect to x. So in the first term, we have a constant. So again, if you have a constant times a function of the independent variable, you just set aside the constant and differentiate, this case, in this case, the power of x with respect to x. Okay, using the power rule to differentiate x to the seventh, bring down the exponent, copy the base, subtract 1 from the exponent. So it becomes 6. In the second term, we do the same thing. Copy the constant, minus 5, and take the derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x. Using power rule, it's 5, x to the fourth. We do the same thing in the next number. In the next term, I mean, copy the constant, minus 2. Take the derivative of x cubed using the power rule. Bring down the exponent, copy the base, subtract 1 from the exponent. In the uh, second to the last term, it's just x. So the derivative of x with respect to itself is always 1. That's the derivative of the constant 3, which is 0 according to d1. So let's simplify to get g prime of x in simplified form. g prime of x is equal to 10 times 7 is 70, x to the 6th, minus 5 times 5 is 25, x to the 4th, minus 2 times 3 is 6, x squared plus 1. This is the derivative of the function. Let us apply the product rule in number 9. Okay, so in number 9, let's say we have a product of product of x plus 2 and uh, 2x minus 3. Of course, we can always simplify this, right? We can simplify the functions by taking, by removing the grouping symbols using the FOIL method and then we differentiate afterwards. Or we can differentiate using the product rule. Okay, using the product rule, Using the product rule, um, this is the, supposed to be the product of u and v. So the first uh, 
factor is u and the second factor is v. So u is equal to x plus 2 and then v is equal to 2x minus 3. Looking at the product rule, so that's d4, the derivative of u times v, so is equal to u times dv plus v times du. So we'll be needing the derivative of u and the derivative of v in the formula. Uh, what is the derivative of u? The derivative of u is actually the derivative of x plus 2. What is the derivative of x plus 2? It's the derivative of x plus the derivative of 2. But what is the derivative of x with respect to x? 1. What is the derivative of 2 with respect to x? 0. So it's equal to 1. Now what is the derivative of v? dv, we are differentiating with respect to x because x is the independent variable here. Remember, we always differentiate with respect to the independent variable. So the derivative of v with respect to x is equal to the derivative of 2x minus 3. But what is the derivative of 2x minus 3? That is the derivative of 2x minus the derivative of 3. So in the derivative of 2x, we just copy the constant, okay, set aside the constant, and take the derivative of x with respect to x. What is the derivative of x with respect to itself? Again, it's 1. Minus the derivative of negative, uh, minus the derivative of neg uh, positive 3, which is 0. So the answer is 2. So the derivative of y with respect to x using the product rule is equal to u times dv. So it's u is equal to x plus 2 times dv, what is dv equal to? 2 plus v, what is v equal to? 2x minus 3 times du, what is du equal to? 1. Now simplifying the derivative of y with respect to x by eliminating or the, removing the grouping symbols, you'll get uh, 2x Two x plus four. Okay, distributing two inside the grouping symbol of x plus two plus okay, distributing one, of course we'll just have two x minus three. Combining like terms for two x plus two x is equal to four x and then four plus negative three is just one. Okay, this is the derivative of y with respect to x. As I mentioned a while ago, there is an alternative solution. And the alternative solution, alternative solution is by sim to simplify the function first. So y equals x plus 2 times 2x minus 3 and then differentiate the function afterwards. So using FOIL method, y is equal to so FOIL method, first terms first, when we multiply, we get 2x squared. The outer terms, x and negative 3, we get minus 3x. The inner terms, when multiplied, 2 and uh, 2, 2x is equal to uh, plus 4x. And then the last terms, 2 and th negative 3, when multiplied, is equal to negative 6. So y is equal to, when simplified, is 2x squared, combining negative 3x and 4x, we get plus 4x, okay, minus 6. Sorry, this is should be f x only. Okay, combining negative 3x and 4x, we get x only. So that's y equals 2x squared plus x minus 6. Now, when we differentiate that, we get y prime. Okay, when we want to differentiate y in terms of x, so we differentiate each of the three terms of y. So in the first term, just copy the constant, set aside the constant, and get the derivative of x squared using the power rule. So that's 2x raised to 2 minus 1, so 2x raised to 1. That's the derivative of x with respect to itself, 1, minus the derivative of 6, which is 0. So when we simplify, we get 4x plus 1 also. So it's the same thing. 
In the next example, we'll apply the quotient rule. Let's say y is equal to 2x minus, uh, minus 3 over 3x plus 4. So to get the derivative of y with respect to x, we'll use the quotient rule because this is the quotient of 2x minus 3 and uh, 3x plus 4. So in this case, this is u and this is v. So this is the y is in the form u over v. So we use the, uh, the quotient rule in D5 where we have the formula for the derivative of u over v. So in the formula, we'll need a v, then du, and then we we'll also need u and dv. Okay? So if u is equal to, u is equal to 2x minus 3, then du is equal to the derivative of 2x minus 3. In that case, we've already had that in example number 9, and the derivative of 2x minus 3 with respect to x is 2. Now if v is equal to 3x plus 4, then dv is equal to the derivative of 3x plus 4. Okay, what is the derivative of 3x plus 4? The derivative of 3x is 3 times the derivative of x, which is 1, plus the derivative of the constant 4, which is 0. So dv is equal to 3. Okay, so now we get y prime. y prime, or it can be denoted by dy over dx also, using the quotient rule. Look at d5. So d of uv, or the derivative of u over v, is equal to v times du. So v is 3x plus 4. What is du equal to? It's 2. Minus u, 2x minus 3, times dv. What is dv equal to 3? all over what? v squared. What is v? 3x plus 4 squared. Okay, now we'll simplify the numerator by distributing 2 inside 3x plus 4 and 3 inside the group 2x minus 3. Okay, so we'll get y prime equals, uh, so 2 times 3x is 6x plus 4 times 2, 8 minus the quantity, 3 times 2x is 6x, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, all over 3x plus 4 squared. Okay, now we will remove the grouping symbols um, remaining, so we'll have 6x plus 8 minus 6x plus 9, all over 3x plus 4 squared. So combining like terms, 6x minus 6x is 0, and 8 plus 9 is 17, over 3x plus 4, quantity squared. Now this is the derivative of the function. Alright, now let's do that again without the formula. This time, f of x is equal to 1 plus 2x over 1 minus 2x. Okay, so this is the quotient of u, and this is v. Okay, so where u is equal to 1 plus 2x, and v is equal to 1 minus 2x. So we'll use the quotient rule to differentiate f of x, because it's a quotient of two functions, u and v. So in the formula, derivative of u over v is equal to v times du minus u times dv all over v squared. So we'll need du and dv which are the derivative of u and derivative of v respectively. So what is du equal to? du is the derivative of 1 plus 2x with respect to x. So we'll just get the derivative of 1 plus the derivative of 2x. The derivative of 1 is of course 0 according to d1 plus the derivative of 2x copy the constant, set aside the constant, and multiply to that the derivative of x with respect to x itself. Okay, so it's equal to 2. What is dv equal to? It's equal to the derivative of 1 minus 2x with respect to x. So the derivative of 1 
is 0, minus 2, set aside the constant, times the derivative of x with respect to itself, 1. That's equal to negative 2. Okay, now going back to the derivative of f of x, denoted by f prime of x, using the this quotient rule, so it's v times du, what is v equal to 1 minus 2x times du, du is equal to 2, minus u, where u is 1 plus 2x, times dv, where dv is negative 2, all over v squared. Okay, let's just simplify our final answer by removing the grouping symbols in the numerator. So distribute 2 and negative 2 inside the parentheses. So we'll get uh, 2 minus 2x times 2 is 4x minus negative 2 okay, minus 4x. Alright, all over 1 minus 2x quantity squared. Further, removing the rem remaining grouping symbols, we'll have 2 minus 4x. So changing the signs of the subtrahend, we'll have plus 2 and then plus 4x all over 1 minus 2x quantity squared. Now we combine like terms, negative 4x plus 4x is equal to 0 and then 2 plus 2 is 4 over 1 minus 2x quantity squared. This is the derivative of f of x. Now what happens if u is a constant? Say we have 1 over 5x minus 7. So instead of using quotient rule here, since u, this is u, right? This is u, and then this is v. Since u is just a constant equal to 1, remember that the derivative of u would be 0 because u is just a equal to a constant. So this term, so look at looking at this uh, formula, derivative of u over v equals v du minus u dv all over v squared. So if u is equal to 0, then this would just be equal, no, if du is equal to 0, then this term will just be equal to 0, right? So we'll just have the form minus u dv over v squared, okay? So we can just have the function f of x written in the form. So it's 1 over 5 minus 7, where u is, again, a constant, and this is v. Okay, so f prime of x is just negative u times dv over v squared. Now what is v equal to? v is equal to 5x minus 7. What is dv equal to if v is equal to 5x minus 7? So it's a derivative of 5x minus 7. What is the derivative of 5x? So again, set aside the constant, multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to itself, minus the derivative of 7, which is equal to 0. So it's just 5. So now, f prime of x is equal to negative of u, where u is 1, times dv, where dv is 5, all over 5x minus 7, quantity squared. Simplifying that, we get negative 5 all over, uh, over 5x minus 7, quantity squared. This is the derivative of f of x.